Are you ready to become an amped, jacked warrior using the Poliquin Shock Method to help you build muscle and burn fat? Well, if you are, I'm gonna take you through a chest and back workout with this proven method. Are you ready? Let's get it done. Yeah! Hey, it's Funk Roberts here, and today I'm gonna to take you through a 6, 12, 25 chest and back workout, which is one of the most powerful ways for us to build muscle mass while we lose body fat. And it's brought to you by the late and great Charles Poliquin, who put the 6, 12, 25 method together, the Poliquin shock method. And I'm excited to bring this workout to you where we focus on our chest and back. This is actually one of the workouts that you're gonna see in my new program that is coming out, or depending on when you actually are watching this video, click the link anywhere and you can pre-order this program using specifically the 6, 12, 25 protocol to help us build muscle mass while we burn fat, or you can pre-order it, or depending on when you're watching, you can actually order it. But you can stop right here or throughout the workout, click the link anywhere in the description box or on the page and grab that program. Because like I mentioned before, this is one of the most powerful ways to build muscle mass and burn fat because we're using the three main things you need when you want to build muscle. We need mechanical tension, we need uh, muscle damage, and of course we need metabolic fatigue. So how this is going to work is we are gonna take three exercises, three chest exercises. The first exercise, we're gonna be doing six reps. We're gonna go heavy. Then we're gonna rest for 10 seconds and we're gonna to move to 12 reps where we go a little bit lighter. And again, we are going to um, rest for 10 seconds after that and go to the third exercise where we do 25 reps all focusing on the chest in the first uh, the first set of workout uh, exercise, and we'll, we'll do the back next. But the first set, mechanical damage. The second set is focusing on muscle damage, or mechanical tension, the first set, muscle damage, the second, and of course, the third exercise is more muscle uh, uh, fatigue, me metabolic fatigue. And when you wrap all those together, you're gonna get everything you need in order to build muscle mass and burn fat. So let's get started here. So my first exercise, please make sure that you warm up. Upper body warm up is gonna be key. Make sure if you're watching this, um, you've watched the demo, or if you're online watching this, YouTube or what have you, look at the description and get ready to really, really, truly challenge yourself with this workout. So we're gonna do uh, these three exercises. I'm gonna start off the first round. For me, it's gonna be a little bit of a, of, of a, of a test right i'm gonna just warm up a little bit we're gonna try for four full sets of this first of the chest we're gonna try full four rounds uh after we do the three exercises we're gonna rest for two minutes so i have the timer here all right listen you and i are working out together so let's get started let's get warmed up let's get ready um, i'm gonna start off with incline uh, chest press six reps trying to go at a rate of four down four counts down all right, are you guys ready? I'm ready. So I'm just picking up 35s for now. Um, now this incline is too high for me. It should be a little bit lower. So you should be going a little bit lower on the incline, maybe 30%, but this is just what I have here. Whew, you guys ready? Grab that dumbbell, get ready, get set for six reps of the incline chest press. We're gonna start off with five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So again, first round. Come down slowly, three, four, two, Make sure those elbows, about a 45 degree angle. Three, four, shot. One, two, three, four, shot. Two more. One, two, three, four, shot. Good, full range of motion. Two, three, four, shot. Good, okay, 10 seconds. Basically, it's the time it's gonna take to grab another set of dumbbells and change this. So now we're gonna do 12 reps of, you know, let's just stick with 35s because it's the first round, right? Let's just stick with 35s. Flat bench, 12 reps, here we go. Here we go. Two, three, good. Four, breathe. Eight, nine, 10, nice. One. Two, good, that's 12. Now, we're gonna go to push-ups. So stick to the body weight. We're gonna go to push-ups, 25. Try to get 25 out. I'm gonna come right behind you, hopefully you guys can see me. 
10 second rest, but I guess we're rested up already. So here we go. 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16. I'm gonna have to really truly pay these up. Five more. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Wow, that's gonna be the toughest part is repping out. All right, two minute break. That timer starts now. Okay, so let's kind of break all of that down while we break. So that first round, man, that's a killer. I may only do two more here because I don't think my muscles are gonna be able to handle this because it's the first time I'm doing this, right? So maybe in the subsequent times I add sets, but it's no sense in going from zero to hero. I'm sure this is the first time you're doing this too. So let's talk about the incline. I need to go heavier. 35 is not heavy enough. It's good for the 12 after, but it's not good. So I'm gonna try to go heavier here, probably throw down 50s, right again, first time I'm doing this, so. Got about a minute almost, wow. Doesn't feel like a lot of time. So our six reps, that represents mechanical, damp, uh, mechanical, mechanical tension, right? Heavy, when you train with heavy weight, that gives you that mechanical tension. The second set, the second exercise represents um, muscle damage, right? It's like hypertrophy training. 12 reps, you know that, that, that rep scheme in hypertrophy training? And then the third exercise <laughs> is just mu is muscle uh, metabolic fatigue. So that's why it's gonna take a little bit longer to get through the 25, specifically because it's body weight. So like I said, once we're ready, I'm gonna pick up the uh, 50s and do this. Anyways, guys, if you, are starting to like this, you're like, man, this looks pretty cool. It's something that I wanna chat, change, chat, uh, try. Click the link anywhere in this box and grab that my program. It's all follow along workouts. You're gonna be working out with me and uh, you both, both you and I are gonna be struggling together. Is this? Yeah, all right. Okay, let's get back. We got the two minute rest. Now you can take a little bit longer, rest in between, two, three minutes, whatever. Three, sometimes four, but we're gonna go with two minutes and let's just, See what we can do here, all right? Okay, I'm gonna grab the 50s, and we're gonna go six. Again, I don't like that this is too that this high, but I'm not complaining. I'm just gonna get it done. Here we go, six. Let's do this. One, two, good. Ah, six, yeah, that's too much shoulder. That's why well, I don't really like that, but hey, what are we gonna do? All right, catch your breath. Let's move to the flat bench. I'm gonna stick with the 35s. Again, first time I'm doing this, so, you know, I don't wanna, I wanna be realistic here. This is a real training, right? So, I wanna be realistic with this. Okay, here we go, 12. See what we can do. Flat bench. Oh, jeez. Three more. Oh, God. One, two. I may have to go a little bit lighter in that last round. Third round. A little bit of a break. This is gonna be tough. So I'm just gonna break these up as much as I can. I get 25 in. Really hitting that metabolic fatigue here. I can already feel it's gonna be a little bit difficult here. One, two, three, four, five, 
Then do sets of five. Oh man. Oh my God. Wow. Shake it off. Oh man. 14. 11 more. Core tight. Squeeze the glutes. One, two, three. Eight more. Oh man. Trying to get this done as quickly as I can to stay true to the 25 reps, right? I may go to wide grip just to wrap it out. Oh yeah. Oh man. Very humbling. This workout's humbling. But again, first time I'm doing this. First time probably you're doing this. But talk about the chest. Talk about the pump that you get right now. The chest, <laughs> the chest pump is insane. <laughs> okay. So 50. So here's the thing. The incline that you truly want here, I'm gonna show you, is about here. That's the incline that you want. My incline's way too high. So my shoulders are taking over. So I am gonna go lighter because I don't want my shoulders to take over here. I don't want it to be a shoulder workout. I want it to be a chest workout. And because this is so high, um, you know, it's just the name of the game. So you just adjust. You adjust. And remember, this is not the first time, this is not the last time I'm gonna do this workout. I'm gonna do this again next week where I've had time to rest. My muscles have had time to recover because of the metabolic damage that's occurred because of the muscle damage and metabolic fatigue and the mechanical tension that's put on it. But I love this because we have a variety of reps and sets and schemes. Uh, tension, the, the, the time under tension, as you can see, has increased in such a short period of time. And of course, short reps, short rest periods too, right? So again, we're all on our own journey. So, uh, you know, do what you can. You'll probably be able to go heavier, I'm sure. But I know that today's a benchmark day for me. So, and, I, and you guys are watching this with me. You guys are doing this with me. So you know what your benchmark is. But so we, now that we have a benchmark, we know what we want to get to uh, in subsequent workouts. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go with 45 with that final. Let's go to 30 with the chest. And then uh, finish off. this is my final set here. Uh, again, this is the first time. So I want you guys to understand when we do these workouts, sorry. Um, you know, when I do these workouts anyway, I'm doing these workouts realistic. It's realistic here for me. <laughs> it's not, I'm not trying to front. I'm showing you how it's really going down to the, we're gonna go 45s actually. Here we go. Probably not a good idea, but hey, let's push, let's push the envelope, kids. <laughs> let's push the envelope. Here, the envelope, here we go. Mechanical tension, think about that. Here we go, three, two, one. Definitely not happy with that, but hey. Plus, the longer you go with this workout, obviously, the more fatigue you're gonna be as well. <laughs> All right, let's go with 12 here, focusing on muscle damage here. Ah. 
Ah, oh, Jesus, Murphy. All right, let's finish off with push-ups. I'm going to go wide grip. I'm going to go wide grip here. Just so I can get you through these. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, man. See what we can do with the regular. Oh, man. Shake it off, shake it off. Go back to the wide. That's 17. Eight more to go. Finish up strong here, guys. Oh, man. One more. One more. Good work, guys. All right, let's take another two minute break, come back, and we'll hit the back. Good work, guys. Get some water. See you in the next round. Okay, guys, welcome back to, this is our second exercise set, our second block, and now we're hitting the back. So again, six, 12, 25, three exercises. We're gonna go with bent over barbell row, or you can use bent over dumbbell row. Totally up to you, just make sure it's a little bit heavier. Followed by, I'm gonna be doing reverse dumbbell rows, so bent over reverse rows. So that's gonna be light. And then I'm gonna finally finish off with seated resistance band rows. That's gonna be for our muscle fatigue, okay? So um, those are the three exercises. I chose those three because I also, you also have to remember the transition into, into each exercise, right? The transition shouldn't be too complicated where the rest period gets compromised, okay? So let's start off with our bent over barbell row um, or dumbbell row. Remember, hip hinge into this uh, exercise, making sure that your back is uh, straight, your core is tight, and so you fill up your, your core with uh, air, and then your glutes are also, you're squeezing your glutes and you're focusing on rowing to your belly button, okay? Because I'm not gonna really coach too much through because I have to focus. So watch the exercise if it's the first time you're doing it. But again, uh, this shouldn't be the first time you're doing this exercise if you're doing this workout, right? You need to have at least some, some uh, experience, okay? So let's start off. First exercise, bent over rows, six. You guys ready? Start off. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Hip hinge. rest let's go whoa lightheaded which will probably happen I'm gonna use the 25s for reverse rows let's go with 20s 20s just this just, just uh, members first round here let's go 25 reverse rows bent over one I'm gonna actually change those up uh, next time we do that. I'm gonna change those up to just bent over rows. Now let's go seated rows. Seated rows. Now if you do have a cable, like a access to a cable machine, you can, but well, resistance bands are, are great. If you need resistance bands, head over to my site and grab the funk bands. Ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Let's get 25. Oh yeah, feeling that already. Four, five, choke up if you need to. Six, elbows tight, back straight, shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that exercise, so many things we could do with that. Go heavier with the band. Uh, 
choke up on the band or um, choke up on the band or you know you can uh, double up on your legs. So that's one round number one, two minute break. So a couple things that I learned with that. Let's do that two minute break here. Sorry guys. So a couple of things, I'm gonna change up that second exercise and we're gonna make that into a, um, we're gonna turn that into just a bent over row. And the reason why is the, what we're doing here is kind of like the same movement, right? The only difference with the movement is the hand position is different. So with a bent over barbell row, we're rowing back, elbows are tight. With the reverse row, it's almost the same movement. So why don't we just do bent over, regular rows, so we change up that movement into a more, uh, you know, pendulum movement instead of rowing straight back. And then we have the seated, which uh, again, in order to go, if you don't feel any tension, which I didn't feel too much tension, I'm just gonna choke up on that resistance band. So for, again, I love these workouts. I love doing these workouts with you guys because you're literally seeing in real time how I go through these workouts. First time I'm done doing this workout, it's gonna be part of my program, but still how to adjust and then know that this is our baseline, right? This is the baseline. I'm not gonna come in here and show you me doing, you know, two plates of uh, bent over rows, you know, 70 pounds each side because it's not realistic, <laughs> right? That's not realistic. It may be realistic for a quick, you know, look at me, this is what I can do, but I want this to be more realistic for you guys because this is not about me, I'm putting this program for you. So we've got about 30 seconds, so let's think about things. This is round number two, so things are gonna be a little bit tougher because we're fatigued in the back. Uh, we gotta really protect that back. So I'm actually gonna turn this this way so you can see what I look like as I'm doing this, as I bent over and I row back. You'll see how my back is straight throughout this whole movement. Uh, very important. This is the biggest, uh, most important movement here because we're going heavy. So we don't want to jeopardize our back. And also, the other thing is when we do the bent over row, we're standing, we're bending over two times. So, so I'm just trying to uh, turn this off here. All right, let's go for round number two. I'm gonna go a little bit slower on the bent over, uh, on the bent over row so I can get that mechanical tension. And uh, hopefully you guys can see me here. Let's start off with six. Bent over, rows, barbell, heavy, here we go. Get to that position. What I like to do sometimes is just bring it up and then slowly go down. Right to the belly button. One more. Put it down safely. Let's roll this over. And now let's move on to, woo, whew, bent over rows, okay? So regular bent over rows. Let's go to 30s, see what we can do here, 12. I'm again gonna stand by, by my side, sideways so you can see. Same thing, but we're rowing back. Here we go, 12. Come all the way down. felt that really wow this is the one Ooh, I really felt that one all right let's get down and get to the metabolic fatigue here so again I'm just gonna choke up but again it's like pretending you're seat in the seated row position let's go 25 let's really pump this out here we go three two one two Squeeze a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Hey. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Core tight. Oh man. Brutal. Brutal. All right. Let's get that two minutes. You may be wondering why am I moving a little bit gingerly? 
And that's because I want to protect my back. I want to protect, you know, my body. I don't want to, to my, my posterior chain is fatigued right now, right? And I want to make sure that every movement I do is with intention. When I get up from the floor, when I'm moving around, specifically during a workout, I want to make sure that I protect myself, right? Protect my body so that I can put it 100% into each exercise. So I don't just get up and move around. I really move with intention. And speaking of intention, you're training, you're lifting with intention. And speaking of intention, make sure that you click anywhere in the description box on this page and either pre-order my program or you can, um, you can order it, depending on when you're watching this, right? We're using the Poliquin 6-12-25 method. Today, we're doing chest and back, and on subsequent days, we'll do arms, we'll do shoulders and legs, and then you'll repeat. So again, it's the most powerful, one of the most powerful methods brought to you by the late and great Charles Poliquin to help us build muscle while we burn fat using those three things, mechanical tension, muscle damage, uh, sorry, mechanical tension, muscle damage, and metabolic fatigue. Okay, we've got 25 seconds left. We wanna get some good recovery in, uh, and then make sure again, we are ready to go. Dumbbell Amped Warrior, that's what the program is gonna be called. That's what the program is called, and this is what it's using. So if you've never used this before, imagine four weeks of this type of training, man. It is gonna make a massive difference. It's gonna shock. The method, it's a shock method, so it's definitely gonna shock your body um, into some serious growth. All right, let's do this. Okay, final round, let's go again. Bent over barbell row, set up the way you set up. Like I said, I like to lift up first and then go down into that, into a bent over row position. Some people like to do it from the bottom. So whatever works for you, I'm gonna go up into a deadlift and then slowly come down. Here we go. Okay, let's go down and roll. Remember, to the belly button, hold the top. One more. Good work. Those are 35s, by the way, pounds aside. If you're thinking, if you're wondering, again, catch 10 seconds just to wipe the cobwebs out. 35 pounds, sorry, 30 pounds, bent over rows. Here we go, I'm gonna go from the side. 12. Roll back by the hips, elbows tight to the body. All the way down. Ah, whoo. It's that full range of motion that really challenges the lats. Let's get down, final exercise. Remember, it's only 10 seconds in between exercises, but man, here we go. Again, 12, 25, <laughs> roll back, shoulders back. I don't want you to go full range now. It's almost like a pump. Keep going. One more, five more. Time. Great work, guys. Great work. Give me those knucks. Give me those knucks. Beautiful. Good job, guys. So there you have it. Chest back, 6, 12, 25, using the Paula Quinn shock method to mechanically get that mechanical tension, break down that muscle with muscle breakdown and muscle damage, and then we're gonna get some metabolic fatigue so we can build muscle, burn fat. Part of my dumbbell amped warrior program. Pre-order it which will be on sale if you do, or order it. 
28 day program, follow along workouts, including this one. We hit the entire body throughout 28 days. And man, I'm telling you, you're gonna feel this. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Remember, like this, share this, comment below. Now remember, this is the first workout. So in subsequent workouts, if you're watching this or doing this with me in the program, you can assess what happened there by writing down your weights. And then the next workout, you know, okay, I'm gonna do 45s aside with the, the bent over row. I'm gonna use 40s with the uh, dumbbell rows. I'm gonna go with a heavier resistance band and then try to rep that out. Or I'm gonna add one more round uh, instead just to get everything out. There's only three rounds. You can go from four, from three to five rounds altogether. Anyways, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Again, click the link anywhere here to order that program. I'm telling you, it's gonna be an incredible program using a proven method to help you build muscle, burn fat, and become an amped, jacked warrior. I'm the Funkster, and I'll see you in that next workout. Yeah. Hey, it's Funk Roberts here. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you liked it. In fact, I hope you loved it, and I hope you learned something from that video. Please show me some love and like this, share this, leave your comments below because you know I love that, those comments. And if you like that workout, click that button right there, and it'll take you to the next workout. I'm the Funkster, and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done. Ah.